Okay, break down the game for me. What happened? Um, I feel like most of the time we, we didn't feel like we were competing because we kept trying to exit or clear the lines basically from, from our own half, so kick it away. We had to do that because we were under pressure. Um, and the, the, you know, just clinical errors. You know, we made a lot of mistakes, and um, they capitalised on it. And you know, there's some good aspects of the game, isn't there? Yeah. Look, I think uh, we knew exactly how they were going to play because we watched all their videos, uh, the games from last year's A5N, and they played exactly the way that um, that they showed on the video. So we knew that in the first 20 minutes they were going to go really, really hard and we were going to have to weather the storm and we are going to have to play um, you know, minimal mistakes, rugby. Um, they just hard like the ball, isn't it? Yeah, look, unfortunately we made minor errors which, which you know, turned into big errors because they scored from it in the first 20, 25 minutes. 70% um, of the possession yeah, it was, was, was there. 80. We had to play with bare minimum. Well, we did. We, we made mistakes, but I think the first half we had ninety percent of the ball was in our own half, our own forty meter sort of goal area. Except uh, that it wasn't in your hands. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It was. Oh, and when it was, we had to kick it straight away for possession. So and, and territory. Why? Um, because is, is safety option. I mean, we don't want to risk. Playing our own half. It's too risky playing in your own half that's, just in case you turn it over. That's the strategy normally within games. We, within our own 30 metres, we, yeah. we clear the lines. Um, but you see that when we did get in their half, I think we got in their half once or twice, we actually scored through Draven Clark. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll learn from this. Korea, the Korean team play with each other day in, day out. We come together a week before. And you know, the onus upon the players in the Philippine Volcanoes is solely with ourselves. We need to monitor our own training, fitness. Um, but it's very easy to do that when you've, when you've got the passion to play for the team. Yeah. So what do you need to do? Play together more often? It's, it's very difficult to say what we need to do. I think it comes down to you know, mistakes at the end of the day. And, you know, to work, work on them, it's just, you know, you gotta work by yourself, you know, train at home. Because we don't train together all the time, we all live in our respective countries. It's so difficult to come together. Um, I would say it's so much of a team, you know, we weren't cohesive. I think it was just individual errors that let us down today. Um, like, even though we do live um, you know, across the seas from one another, things like Skype and Facebook really help us to connect. Um, with our training, for instance, uh, Harry Morris, who's, who's not on this tour. Miss you, Harry. Yeah, miss you too, Harry. Um, he, he had a gym program, which he gave to me, he gave to Gaz, and it just spread through the team. So that way we can, we can train together while not being with each other. Um, and, you know, we talk about our results. And if, if Gaz gets a good program from his Italian club that it was previously at, we'd have it within days of, of him receiving it. And, you know, I assume the same is going to happen now with, with Gaz and, and Michael Letts um, game Japanese contracts. Do you think contracts. you played as well as you could, personally? Um, oh, look, I, I think there are a few moments there where I could have took, taken an alternative option. Um, the mistakes I did make um, didn't, weren't costly in the sense that they scored from it, but um, you, know, you always want to take responsibility for what you did and learn from it. I think the effort was there from the boys, you know, we, we had no ball and we are defending our asses off. So just putting tackles in after tackles, so, you know, you can't say... Well, it's taxing on the body, like, yeah. you know, when you're making, you know, 30 tackles um, and they've got the ball for, you too know, much five, six yeah. phases each time, it's, it's too much defence. Um, you try to avoid that when you play rugby, it's a... Uh, you the ball. <laughs> you, you really want to have the possession and dictate how the other team plays and, and uh, unfortunately for about a good 75% of that game today we um, so Korea dictated Korea play. played as you expected them to play. Yeah, They did and, and what I mean by that is uh, they'd throw it wide a lot. Uh, we knew that and we adjusted to it and um, if you rewatch the video you'll see Chris Hitch put a big hit on one of their uh, flankers who came out from the line out. Uh, we knew that was going to happen and, and we accounted for it. Um, what we couldn't account for and, and why they scored is, is because we didn't anticipate tackling as much as what we did and um, 
the mistakes kick in. The more defence you do, you become more tired, you become more fatigued. Um, so, yeah. Well, there were some moments when I thought you could have really caught up with them, like uh, at the end of the first half, if you had, if at the start of the second half, you had immediately scored something, this would be a different game altogether. And then in the dying minutes, I thought, you know, you could have caught them. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're seven points behind at um, one stage, you know, that's one try underneath the post and a kick, and, you know, we're back up there. But, um, yeah, they, I think they, they put, what, two tries on us in the last... No, oh, they put it. No, they put a try. In the last ten. They put a try in the first ten minutes and a try in the last minute. And like just the last try, just that was it. That was the end of the ball game. Yeah, well, sort of. The reason why they scored that last try was because we were trying to push the ball wide in our own ten metre area, which we had to do. There was you know less than thirty seconds on the clock, um, so you know that last try. You take that away, it was twenty-seven twenty. Um, really, the, the score 34 20 doesn't really do the game much justice in terms of um, what we did and how close it really was. Good effort, though. Uh, yeah, good effort. Closer to the score indicates. Look, uh, I think, you know, we got a bit of a touch up from Hong, Hong Kong last month, um, but we've improved significantly since then. You do a comparison of scores. Hong Kong beat Korea in last year's A5M, I think. I think they just beat UAE with the same margin. 20-something 20, 20 to 8. So, like, yeah, I think it was like 28-8. Um, so it just shows we have improved. We've just got a lot of work to do. Um, we're going to do everything we can to stay in Division 1. Um, you know, that's a non-negotiable. Yes. Um, you have to win on Saturday. We will win on Saturday against Malaysia. Yeah, they're a big side, but... Um, but we're, we've got a bit of downtime tomorrow, which I think is well-deserved. I'm feeling like I've been hit by a bus, a Korean Speaking bus. Speaking of which, show us the scars. Oh, what I've do you got? got? Uh, all I've got is a bit of a busted lip. I don't know if you can see it. No, I zoom in, okay. Yeah. Is it? That's a bit fat. Oh. So, no kissing Korean girls this tour, unfortunately, but... Um, Looks like collagen implants. Well, you got me, so... <laughs> so uh, I was trying yes, to... you limped off the field. What's wrong with you? Yeah, well, I, I have a heel. Well, you can't... It's an internal... Oh, it's you can't really see much, but... What's wrong with your heel? I did it in my last game in Italy, and um, it was kind of... Same place you lost yeah, your hair? The same place I lost my hair. I want to give a shout out to uh, Georgie Scarby, who shaved my head the last game. Thanks for that. Um, but yeah, I did it in Italy, my last game, and... Um, just That's just... a pretty gross gash you've got. Is that from this game? Where? On your knee. Oh, that, yeah, that was Italy, and that was Italy on a touch-up today. No. Oh, we're going to compare scars now. Yeah. All right. This is Eastern Suburbs training. Right there, I copped a knee in the head. It's, uh, That's been there a while, no? Oh, it's been there since February. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hopefully uh, the girls back at home, Philippines and Australia, enjoy scars. Chick stick scars. Chick stick scars. Well, so we've heard. Yeah. So, uh, so we helped us. No. <laughs> Struggle Street. Struggle Street. Yeah.